What is going on guys? I am Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Trina. I did a video on my uh basic social policy channel. So I might as well put I might put this on the basic social policy channel. But if you want to see that video, the link is in the description. Make sure you give it a like. Give this video a like too. All right? Because I want a lot of people to see this. Because I think a lot of you are going to really need to hear what I got to say about this particular situation. Now, Trina on a radio show made some comments that hurt a lot of people's feelings. I honestly believe that they were taken a bit out of context, even though her delivery could have been better. Uh, I believe in that moment she was thinking about selfishly her friend and not of the bigger picture. You see, I have no problem with protesters protesting. I've said this. A myriad of times, okay? But I don't have any respect for people who loot. I don't. I don't have any respect for people who destroy other people's property and take other people's property. And I think that's where she was coming from in her mind. That's where she was coming from. Now she is apologizing for calling protesters uh animals even though i don't think she was talking about the protesters but in this society in the times we're in they want to make sure that nobody criticizes the the not the protesting because i don't think anybody's really criticizing that they don't want anybody criticizing the ramifications of looting and rioting they don't want anybody to criticize that but if you look into what is going on, something's going on out there. And I think that people got to understand that you have to look at things in its proper concept. I just think that Trina in that moment got caught up in her own emotions and it didn't come out right. But they went off on her and they went in on her to a degree I have never really seen. Maybe Drew Brees situation was kind of close, but they went and found old pictures of her uh, posing in a very unflattering manner with a bunch of guys. And I truly think that this is where we are. Honestly, I think that if there's one thing to be critical of, it is the fact that a lot of people aren't handling this situation well. The politicians haven't handled the situation well. I think that you have people who have been um, in the crowds. They are exacerbating the situation. They are the ones who are the agitators. They're there to cause havoc. They're not there to protest. They're, in they're, they're intermingling with the protesters. And I think people... Because they're caught up in their emotions, they don't see that. They don't see the fact that she, in her own way, was trying to call out the people who are making the, the, the problems. And honestly, it didn't come out right. And she apologized. But I want y'all to understand, apologies don't really matter anymore. Apologies used to matter. But they don't matter anymore. If you say something, you need to stand behind it 100%. You see, I say what I want to say. I don't care about people getting their feelings hurt over people's opinions, especially mine. You shouldn't get your feelings hurt because of my opinions. But I know that the videos that I have done, especially a few recently, um, would beg to differ. But I honestly believe that the way that people went off on Trina... They didn't like her anyway. So this just gave them extra ammo. And just and, and people are using what is going on, this this tragic situation that's going on, okay? To basically settle scores. They say, hey, I'm more conscious than you are. And that's not what we should be talking about. We should be talking about gaining something out of this whole situation. Instead of gaining nothing now looking at this trina situation she didn't articulate her points very well but was she wrong to call out the looters 
and not the protesters, but she didn't make that clear again. She didn't articulate her points very well. And because she didn't articulate her points very well, it came off as if she was criticizing protesters. See, this is why context matters. This is why you, before you get on the air and say things, you need to check your emotions at the door. I understand that your, your friend got her business tore up. I understand that you have issues uh, that happen in your family, but you have to understand that when you say certain things on social media and you say the wrong thing, because y'all got to understand, a lot of these celebrities are walking on eggshells, but a lot of these celebrities help perpetuate this cancel culture. They helped push cancel culture. Yes, they did. And they helped to push it, okay, by posting and supporting the uh the basically the the trashing of other people they heavily supported it they're out retweeting and reposting putting their two cents in it until it happens to them trina played the you know played that card she did she played that i'm black card you don't like me because of that card and I think people saw this as hypocritical, but you got to understand it ain't just black people out there protesting. They ain't just black people out there rioting. It's a bunch of people out there. It's a bunch of agendas out there. And because her points weren't articulated the right way, now she's out here looking crazy, bending the knee, apologizing. And she got canceled for it. But how long is she going to be canceled? Do anybody really get canceled that long? Now... She said what she said, but that's her opinion. And I believe that she needs to stand by it. You know, when people apologize, it doesn't help the situation to me because you are not being honest and real about how you feel. I'd rather be around people who are honest instead of people who are going to lie to me, instead of people who are going to tell me what they want to hear. If you say something to me and that's how you feel, I'm going to take that as that's 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 how you feel that's that's your thought process you know you can't buckle and bend because of the mob i know there's gonna be people who aren't gonna like what i'm saying in this video they're not gonna like what i say in other videos but i'm gonna stand by it because that's my opinion but some people don't like that they want you to be a part of the crowd because they're weak and i think it's a totally weak move to apologize when you say something that you know you meant but because people are addicted to social media, because people are addicted to being, you know, uh, having a following and posting and, and they're so addicted to making money, they're willing to give up being free to say whatever it is they want to say. Because. Because of what? You see, no matter how much we fight. For what we want we're gonna always lag behind we're gonna always be unhappy because we don't really gain exactly what we want because we end up going in circles i don't agree with a lot of the things that people say trina said what she said i'm not angry about what she said because that's how she feels if that's how you feel then stand by it with like with drew Brees. drew Brees. if that's how you feel stand by it but because you're an nfl player because you have endorsements because you want to be a part of social media you want to be you know on you know around you know scene you want to have opportunities you're gonna bend the knee and you know what i ain't even mad at drew Brees because he feels like he's doing what he has to do but when is it going to come a time when these celebrities who claim that they are leaders, who claim that they mean something, when are they going to say something and stand behind it 100 percent instead of bending to the mob? Instead of bending to the outrage, you got to ask yourself, was what Trina said worth what was done to her on social media? You have to ask yourself that. You see, I'm indifferent to it because, again, I understand she didn't articulate her points very well. 
she did come across as crass. She did come across as not understanding the situation, not really being able to speak on the matter and, and leave the emotions at the door. I can understand that, but I'm not going to get on social media and troll her and talk all this, that about her. And you know what's interesting? The same people that are going at her are the same people who don't care about people who look like them. Her own, it, and I, I noticed this, it was a lot of women upset at Trina. I didn't notice a lot of dudes upset at her like that. Well, you, you got some of the dudes, but th these are guys who think they're women anyway. But I didn't see a lot of men upset at her because we're indifferent because we understand women are going to say things that don't make sense. We understand that. But I'm trying to figure out why was all these people so surprised? She said, she once said that she doesn't consider herself black. This is who you're talking about. She is part of the elite group of people who live not around the majority of other people. Or she considers herself part of the elite. So, of course, she's going to look down upon you and view you a certain kind of way. She's not going to view you as being part of her group. She's going to view you as somebody who is a bit beneath her, so to speak. You see, this ain't this not a video defending. This is a video of me telling you, why are you so outraged about this? Why are you so outraged about this? You know, I saw a post on Twitter from Tariq Nasheed, and he was telling his followers to stop being outraged at what Candace Owens does. Why are you outraged at Candace Owens? She's doing things to rile you up. Why are you outraged about Candace Owens? And he made a very good point. Why are you outraged about things that at the end of the day really don't mean much? And you have to understand that people are going to say crazy things. They're going to do crazy things. They're going to do stupid things. You can't sit there and get triggered by it. But I notice a lot of people get triggered easily. People say, well, this is a very sensitive situation. It is a very sensitive situation. But this is a celebrity. Why are you looking for celebrities to lead you? Does that make any sense to anybody? It don't make it to me. Celebrities are not meant to be worshipped. Celebrities are not meant to be leaders. Stop looking towards these people for leadership. Especially when you are an adult.